As you may or may not be aware, as we speak, there is a general strike going on, or excuse me, a, uh, a union general strike in Spain. Thursday, today, of course, six hours uh, ahead of us, Spain's first general strike since the popular party of Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy came to power last year was started. The strike was called by Spain's two main trade unions to protest a recent overhaul of labor rules that makes it cheaper for employers to hire and fire workers. Why is this relevant? Because we know that Occupy Wall Street has been slowly and increasingly spreading the word that May 1st will be your opportunity to take a couple of days off and reflect upon how effed up our country is. And to that end, a group calling itself the Rank and File Initiative claimed credit yesterday for opening up more than 20 subway stations in New York City for free entry for commuters. They chained open the emergency gates at stations on the FLRQ 3 and 6 lines during rush hour yesterday morning. If you're not from New York City, if you're not familiar with the way uh, our subway system works, there are turnstiles where you take your little metro card and swipe it through. And always to the left or right of these turnstiles, there's an emergency door that's used if you've got a stroller or a bicycle. And if you're coming out of the uh, subway, you can open them up. And a small alarm goes off for a brief uh, period of time. And apparently, teams, 20 teams of three or four people, chained open these uh, gates with the help, supposedly, according to anonymous Occupy Wall Street organizers, by rank-and-file members of the Transit Workers Union Local 100. They are currently in negotiations with the MTA, which is the entity which runs the subways. And they put out a release citing that Albany has, and by Albany, we're, of course, we're talking about the state government, the seat of the state government in New York State, has been chronically underfunding public transportation, which, incidentally, more and more people are using in this city to the benefit of, well, just about everyone, from making our air uh, better to breathe, making uh, New York City a more livable place, making New York City more accessible to people who can't afford to live in Manhattan, which is just about well, everybody. <coughs> And the release cites the fact that Albany has been consistently underfunding public transportation, which forces the MTA to borrow heavily to maintain its operating budget. And this debt must be serviced in part with transit fares that have gone up over 50% over the last decade. And according to the release, quote, this means Wall Street bondholders receive a huge share of what we put into the system through the metro cards we buy and the taxes we pay. More than $2 billion a year goes to debt service, and this number is expected to rise every year. So rather than raise taxes on the rich in this state, what they do is simply borrow money from the rich so that the rich can then get interest uh, payments that come out of our tax dollars. It's a uh, wonderful system if you're one of these financiers. Not so much if you are a taxpayer or if you're a uh, subway goer. According uh, to a piece in the uh, Village Voice by Nick Pinto, who spoke to one of the organizers, they said, we've been planning this for months, Occupy people, other activists, and union members, the source said. Union members were central to the planning. They told us the best places to go. They talked to their colleagues about what was going to happen and not to be freaked out when we came in. They gave the final green light for the mission this morning. Now, the union itself, the Transportation uh, Union uh, Local 100 leadership, denied knowledge of the action. 
And the rank and file initiative source, according to this piece, confirmed that they were not notified. Remember, if the union was to be officially involved in this, this would have violated both the Taylor Law and the Taft-Hartley Act. The source claims that there are a lot of angry and afraid union members who wish they could do more, but they're held back by their leadership. There has long been a rift between the local transit uh, workers union and their leadership. And so uh, this is just part of it. Now, this strategy uh, has been used in the past. San Francisco saw a fair strike in 2005. The Spanish indign Los Indignados have been involved in this called uh, through an uh, action they call Yo No Pago, which I believe means I no pay. The group also plans to release how-to guides to help anyone else who might want to stage a fair strike in New York subways. They put up signs that look like official MTA signs saying, free fare today, don't forget, May 1st, general strike day. So May 1st is coming. The American spring will soon perhaps spring in and of itself.